QuickBooks 5 hourly payroll and payroll liabilities. This is Ken Boyd, the owner of St. Louis Test Preparation. Here's our email and phone number. You can find us on Facebook now where we've linked in all of our videos at St. Louis Test Prep. So I'd like to go over to the home page of QuickBooks. And let's be reminded that we have three basic sections going down the left-hand side. Vendors, which we dealt with bill payment in an earlier video. Customers, which we dealt with when we were estimating, invoicing, and getting deposits. Now we're going to deal with employees. So I'm going to go into the inner time icon, and I'm going to hit use weekly timesheet. When I look at the weekly time sheet, you're going to see that I already have, if I click on name, I already have under employee, an employee set up here, Kenny Reese. And I always I already have some work that Kenny's done. I'm going to create a new employee, and you'll see that we get the select name type, and I'm going to hit employee. So now I get a screen where I can enter some information on that employee. So my employee is Keith Hernandez. And you'll see if I tab down, it says print on checks as. It shows his name. I'm going to enter a false social security number. His gender is male. I'm going to enter a date of birth. Uh, 1130, um, let's make him 20 years old, approximately 90. I could put in an address and contact. I could put in additional information like an employee ID number. So I'm going to hit OK. Do you wish to set up this employee's payroll information? I'll say set up now. Now, when we get to the payroll info screen, you see we've got earnings, item name. Earning item name. Earnings item name refers to the type of compensation you're paying. I'm going to say straight time, which means just regular hourly payroll without overtime. So I'm going to hit straight time. Under hourly and annual rate, I'm going to enter $25 an hour. And then we come over here to payroll schedule, and you'll see that Kenny Reitz, my prior payroll, has already been set up on a bi-weekly basis every other week. So if I go into payroll schedule, and I select the one that I named bi-weekly, it's going to match what I'm paying my other employee that you saw before, Kenny Reitz. How about additions and deduction, adjustments to payroll? Well, I set up a 401k plan that deducts 3% from the Kenny Reitz's gross pay to fund a 401k retirement plan. I'm doing the same with Keith Hernandez. If I look under taxes, these are the withholdings for taxes for Keith Hernandez, my new employee. I'm going to say he's single, he has four allowances, subject to Medicare, Social Security, federal unemployment, so that as he earns more and more money, a certain percentage is going to go to Medicare, Social Security, and federal unemployment. At the state level, he works in Missouri. SUI meaning state unemployment, that's company pay, that's going to be ex an expense to the company. So he works in Missouri. He's also subject to withholding, state withholding in Missouri. I'm going to click that. Filing status single, no extra withholding. Look at the other category. Really nothing else besides state, which I've set up as federal. So under taxes, I'm going to hit OK. So what I've done so far is to set up payroll data for my new employee, Keith Hernandez. His hourly rate is $25 an hour. We withhold information, we withhold funds to fund a 401k plan. If I look under taxes, his allowance says he's single with four allowances. We withhold for Medicare, Social Security, federal income, federal unemployment. At the state level, he works in Missouri. There's state unemployment insurance that the company pays. That's a company expense. He's subject to Missouri withholding, no allowances there. 
filing status is single, so I hit OK. And I'm going to hit OK on all that new employee information. It says, do I wish to set up payroll information for sick days and vacation? I'm going to say leave it as it is. Would you like to set up this new employee to use time data during, payroll, during paycheck creation? Hit yes. So, now that I've set up Keith, we're talking about the week, which happens to be this week in 2011 when I'm making the video from February 14th to the 20th. So, I'm going to look at, under customer job, I'm going to say you worked on that job for Bob Smith. The service he performed, I created a service account that was an expense, that was a, a revenue, excuse me service account called tree removal straight time I'm going to say that he worked five hours on the 16th I'm going to hit tab total five hours five hours for the week I'm going to hit save and close so what we've learned so far is in setting up an employee we said we were going to use a weekly timesheet we entered the name of the employee we were going to withhold 3% of growth payroll for a 401k retirement plan, federal income tax, Social Security, Medicare, federal unemployment, state unemployment tax, and state, I'm sorry, state income tax, state unemployment tax. Now here's the important thing. For an employer, These amounts get passed through to someone else. I'll say most of these amounts get passed through to someone else, so that money does not stay with the employer. Most of these amounts, these being right here, get passed through to someone else, and I think that's something important to keep in mind. So to sum up the beginning of our payroll discussion, I went to employees, enter time, weekly timesheet. You'll see under my first employee, Kenny Reitz, that he worked five hours during the week from February 14th to the 20th, five hours posted. And when I go to my other new employee, Keith Fernandez, five hours posted, and I see that there. You notice one other thing in the drop-down menu, and that is other people who have been added as ven vendors. Mountaintop Investments happens to be the company that we use to forward the 401k investment dollars to. You'll also see that we have Missouri Department of Revenue, which is state tax, Missouri Unemployment Office, which is federal tax, federal tax. So these are all people that are going to get paid the dollars that we're going to withhold for the employees. That's as far as we're going to get here at the beginning of payroll, QuickBooks number five. Continuous classroom for weekly live chats on critical accounting topics, including QuickBooks. You'll find sessions coming up online. Our YouTube channel is Ken Boyd STL for a complete list of videos on our website. You'll see a link to YouTube on our website with all the videos listed in order by topic. For one-on-one -on -one live tutoring chat sessions, both individual and small group, stltest.net is our website. Here's our email and phone number. Thanks very much. We'll see you next time.